Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So uh, this is the second half of the uh, unboxing from Amazon from that shop with the exceptionally long name that I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Um, I'll put the photograph of uh, <laughs> on the screen. Yeah, it, it was just an amazing name. Um, so yeah, I thought I'll show you the next three that we've got in the package. So we'll start with this one, pop those two out of the way. Um, they are all 30 by 40 poured glue and I got them on special offer for £7 and 59 pence instead of £18.99 for the set of six. So, I mean, it would have been rude not to buy them because they were on such a special offer. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So it's not a bad canvas, it's sort of rough on the background, but it's not that real thick cardboard. It's still a good pliable canvas. Okay, and we have a uh, better than a standard toolkit. It's got a little pen grip in there. Um, we have a three placer, it's one of the thick old three places piece of wax about 10 of your little grip seal bags and your pink pen and your book so yeah good little toolkit there okay just pop the drills out the way and oh look at that oh that's lovely that's going to be a nice one to do okay so we've got 20 colors and they're all like it's like gray scale with your pop of blue in it as well but yeah 20 colors you wouldn't think actually there'd be 20 colors in there but this is going to be really pretty and that'll look really nice in our room one of our rooms because we are very gray at the moment we, we seem to be buying everything gray it seems to be the in color um, and it's quite a nice clean color as well quite a neutral color we're very although i love color I tend to like the background and things and paints and car paints, walls and carpets to be sort of a neutral colour. And then you can add your pops of colour with your pictures or uh, your decorations and things and your cushions. And I, yeah, I like cushions. <laughs> okay, so we have, they are dandelion clocks and they've been done in the blue with your two butterflies on. I think that is lovely. That's a very classy picture, shall we say. Okay, it says it's 30 by 40. Uh, still can't find my ruler. Uh, sorry, still can't find my tape measure, my little Scotty. I'm hoping that it's not fallen on my off my desk into my bin because I do empty the bin, bin quite regularly. And if I have, I'll be upset because I love that little Scotty dog tape measure that I've got. So this is uh, 24 centimetres that way. So I'm presuming it's going to be about 34 centimetres this way. Let's just check. Yep, so we're about a 24 by a 34 centimetre, which is pretty standard for a poured glue canvas. Um, lovely clear drill field. I can read every single one of those letters. There's no us on any of them. They are lovely and clear. I do like that. And we do get, yep, yeah, same as the first half of unpacking, we do get the DMC code on the drills. They do seem of very good quality, these, albeit the cutting's not particularly brilliant. Um, I say the straight lines are about as straight as I cut. <laughs> You'd think they'd have like a big guillotine, wouldn't you? So you wouldn't end up with sort of strange bulging out edges and things. But uh, yeah. Unless they've just been cutting it really quick. You know, I'm sure they, they work very hard in these factories. Okay. So, oh, this is a lovely colour palette. So we've got, uh, what's that? That's 3799 and 3865. So it's not actually white in this. It's a creamy off-white of 3865. Oh, these are going to be some really good colours. Wow. Look at all these blues and aquas, and that's the peppermint cream green, and yeah, blues, that's like a stone colour, oh, wow, all your greys, that's quite a lot, that's your background, and 
but yeah that is just gonna really pop those colors look at those blue colors all those aquas and blues wow love those that is gonna look stunning when it's done yes like this one so for the price that i've paid for these and um, they're a lot nicer than the mystery box i got they've worked out to about £1.30-ish each and some of these, yes, I mean this particularly I would have chosen um, and I think there's a couple in the other that, you know, if I'd have seen them I would have chosen them as well whereas the mystery box that I got, there was hardly any really that I would have chosen but getting a set of six oh, but I suppose they are like the new canvases and they are the uh, picture printed as well whereby they've actually pin printed the picture and then they've put the letters over the top of the picture rather than it being the pixel printed where they actually um, print it all at once. So yeah, um, I'm very impressed with these, I have to say, and particularly for the price I've paid. So let's get, this is the last of my uh, printed out home labels. Uh, it was a download from Rebecca Admore Zest. So we'll call this Blue Dandy because I can't fit Dandelion on here. And just hope I remember what I've called it. Although it is on both, so it's not quite so bad. And it's 20 colours. I do like to write how many colours I've got in these. And it said why. DZ405ZYDZ405. I'm putting that they cost £1.30 each. It's only a rough estimate. Um, the £7.59 divided by six. If you can work that out, that's fine. Uh, 30 by 40. And I'm putting Amazon. <laughs> okay. And Amazon. Right. These are labelled up. So I'm trying to be organised this year. I've got all my drills in order and I've got my canvases in order. So I am trying to keep everything organised as I go along. And they will get put in my little uh, logbook as well so I know what I've got. Okay, so that's number one. And right, let's have a look at this one. I've got a funny feeling I used to have a carpet like this with this pattern on it. It's a very old rose pattern, this one. Is it like a vintage fabric as well? And is it Anna Griffin does a lot of the old vintage uh, fabrics. She's got a lot of the patterns. So let's have a look. And it again. Oh, 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 we've got the extra bit. Yeah, we've got the extra bit there. That's the sealer. <laughs> exactly the same tool kit so the consistency in these kits has been brilliant as well which you don't always get when you buy from a company oh these are nice colors wow look at that pink not quite a hot pink but not far off okay oh it's got butterflies on it oh my carpet didn't have butterflies but it did have um when i was a kid um whoa, way back when um yeah i had a bedroom carpet and it had roses and uh, all the different creams and everything on it but say it didn't have the butterflies so we're back to 24 colors nice large letters key code um dmc codes on both sides okay let's give it a flatten out very pretty this the red on this is very very rich Seven. They're almost a picture without putting the drills on these. But that, as I say, is because they are picture printed, which does mean that you are actually having the picture printed on the canvas. So you don't need to really be looking at the thumbnail because you can exactly see what it is before you drill it. The thing is, sometimes, because it looks so good before you put the drills on, it's sometimes not quite as good once you've got the drills on. So we'll see how this goes. The cutting's as good as ever. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that blue line is possibly straight and it's just that the cutting is not being straight there. Okay, let's have a look at these drills. I'm not going to measure this one again. It will be the same as the other one. Okay, 
Okay, so, huh. oh, that's a sure. bright white B5200. There is a lot of that. And yet this looks quite creamy, this background. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be white, so that will be interesting to see. So a bit of peach and like a pale mauve colour and a very maroony type colour. So let's have a look at these. Got pink, dark greens, all the different greens, a stony beige colour, sage green colour, that's a very dark blue. Oh, look at that, a very purpley pink there, lovely. Green, pale pink and a russety brown. Another sage green, that's hot pink, hot pink. Um, a beige colour, that's what I thought the background was going to be, sort of similar to that colour. Green Oh, and that is a rose pink, uh, a brownie colour, and then some more pinky, maroony colours there. So, yeah, very good. Do you like this kit? I'm pleased I got these. I nearly didn't. I saw it was on special offer and I thought, are you just buying this because it's on special offer? And um, part of me was like, well, yes is the answer. And then another part of me was like, well, they are quite useful pictures. Um, I did a couple of times last year, rather than buying somebody, well, buying, doing somebody a greetings card. Um, I don't very often. I've sent a couple of moon pig cards, if you know moon pig, um, that you just go onto the website and you do the card and send it straight to the person. I did a couple of those last year. Um, but on the whole, I do make my own cards. I've been making greetings cards for far too many years. Um, but I've started now, and say a couple of times last year, I actually put the pictures into a frame and uh, sent it as a card. So rather than sending somebody a greetings card um, or taking them a greetings card, I actually made them a picture, a diamond painted picture, and just wrote the message on the back of the picture. Um, so they've got something that lasts a lot longer and it's less likely to get thrown away. It's so one of my fears when I used to make hand make cards. Sometimes I'd spend hours making a card and I thought, gosh, if they throw this in the bin after their birthday or Christmas or whatever, I'd be heartbroken. I'd just cry because I think all the hours that had gone into it. And if you are going to throw it away, just don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> So these are a couple of frames um, that fit the 30 by 40 pictures and they were from the range um, in the UK. You can get similar frames from Ikea and they're only about £3.79 I think I paid for those. So, you know, you can choose, I mean, they do them in black or white, you can choose whichever one to put with it. But yeah, so what are you spending? I mean, this is £1.30, so you're spending, what, five or six pound on a... Um, well, a greetings, a greeting for somebody, shall we say, that they can keep and hang on the wall if they want to. Um, and you can easily go into greetings cards. I mean, I've seen greetings cards for like £8. I think, wow, that is a lot of money. Um, I know there are the budget end as there are with everything. But sometimes, you know, if you look at cards, you think, heck, there really are a lot of money. So this is like sending somebody a gift and a card at the same time. Or maybe it's just me. <laughs> okay, so I've run out of my pre-printed labels that I did myself. So I've bought some now from Rebecca. These are all pre-die cut. They're exactly the same as the ones that I've been using. But Rebecca has designed these now with the diamond in the background. So they're a little bit posher, a little bit nicer. Okay. I think she sells them singly. Um, I'll put a link to the website so you can have a look on there and as I say because they're all die cut I don't need to worry about cutting them out in advance now yet yeah, that's just one isn't it a very oh no it is two I thought it was quite thick oh that feels a bit thicker than normal but you still need to do two because you want one for your canvas and one for your drills so this is um pink rose I'm going to call it doesn't matter what you call it unless it's got a name on it you could always use whatever names on the canvas um it's 30 by 40 actually because there is have i 
yeah i've gone just making sure i've not written um above the label you can actually not sure where the edge of the label is just take the outsides of the stickers off and then it just actually leaves you the sticker on the page okay just take that off this is what we used to do with peel off stickers back in the day so that you could just see the actual sticker rather than all the other bit that goes around it so you know now i've got a bit close look on there when i was writing that one um this is quite a big gap at the bottom there so i'm going to put the canvas number uh, z y d z 2428 Z2428. I'm going to put that there as well. I'm going to put Amazon as the shop. Z. Excuse my writing. It is like a spider has crawled across the page with ink on its legs. Okay, and 25. I do like to write the colours and then just one label peels off there. Oh, these are nice to use. Okay, so that's that one. So that's canvas number two done. So let's have a look at the last one. And this looks like it's quite a big daisy there, but we'll see when we get to it. That's over there. So far, apart from the butterfly that I got twice, and it is a picture that I maybe wouldn't have got. The others have all been very, very pretty and very nice quality. Okay. Oh, this, oh look i've got the end again is this what this company do they send you their rubbish <laughs> I suppose it's going in my bin rather than yours um so we've got yep exactly the same toolkit so all six toolkits have been exactly the same very good consistency and oh look at those colors the nc codes on the drill still exceptionally the same now then they look Unless there's not many in that pack here, I think maybe. I thought some of those had escaped, but I think it's just that there's a different colour behind showing them up a bit more. Okay, so let's, oh, look at that. That is very, very pretty, and I love the colours. And um, there's quite a bit of colour blocking on this as well. So if you do like your multi placing, um, you could probably get through this quite quickly with your multi placing. Only 20 colours. So quite a quickish one to do, really, this one. Again, it says it's 30 by 40. It'll be about 34 by 24, something like that. Let's just flatten the cover out again. Oops, I must say the canvas is very sticky. The one earlier grabbed hold of my hand and this one has two. Well, okay. So there you are. That is really pretty. We've got a very tiny little white blossom look that they've put in a blue vase with these daisies. Again, another picture that will look really nice in sort of a plainish room just for that pop of colour, just to lift it. Hmm, I'm impressed. I have to say, I am pleased I bought this set. So, oh, lovely. We have some greys, a pale grey and a little bit darker grey. And some gorgeous blues. Look at that aqua. And a very, oops, just put these over. Nice deep blue there, almost purple, that blue. Very deep blue. Same colour as the packet, actually. You can hardly see it, can't you? <laughs> And a rusty brown, and another sort of a paler rusty brown, and a dark blue, and a nice orange colour, and some more blues and aquas. Wow, are they all the same colour? Yeah, those three are all the same colour, so we've got three packs of that, so that's going to be the main background colour, and a pale blue, and the minty green whitey off whitey colour there very nice and another aqua and a dark green oh that would be nice to offset it yeah, looks like they're going to be in the centre of the daisies and then another 
greeny blue colour and another aqua colour. Very pretty, very impressed with these. Okay. How many times can I say that? <laughs> Too many was the cry. Let's see if we can get these back. It's quite cold here today. Usually when I'm up in my craft room, it's really, really warm and I'm thinking, oh, blimey, I can't stay in here very long, but it is actually quite cold today. I feel as though I want to go and put a jumper on. Those away. Let's get the labels. Keep it going, Liz. We're into February. We're nearly into March. And I'm still labelling everything up. So I'm going to call this Daisy Vase. And it is ZYDZ2427. ZYDZ2427. Seven thirty by forty. I do just put the canvas size on. I don't put the size that the actual drill area is. Um, I have started putting the actual drill area size in my log book, so that I know which companies do true to size and which companies don't. Um, but at the moment, as I'm just doing the labels for sort of identification purposes, shall we say, uh, then I'm not doing that. Colours, 20 colours. Oh, it's so much easier using these labels than the one I've printed out myself and having to fight getting them off the packet. That is really good. Love your stickers, Rebecca. Okay, so that's our three other canvases looked at. We have had a lovely daisy in a blue vase. We have had a very striking red well, maroony coloured butterfly with pink roses and then we've had blue butterflies with blue dandelions so very pretty very pleased i will be <laughs> looking out for this company again even though it has a name that is extra long um yeah so if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, if you can give me a thumbs up, it is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, if you press that subscribe button and the little all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when my videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.